this is Girl Right, and I'm Annie Z, and we're here today with my friend Carolyn Walker, and we're here to talk about her and her new album and her music, and it's gonna be really awesome. Hey, Great. Carolyn. Hello. Are you excited? I'm very excited. So you ready for 20 questions with Girl Right? Yes, I am. All right. Number one. When did you start playing music? I started uh, taking actual traditional lessons, violin lessons, when I was seven, but I was singing and such before then, and I started guitar when I was 15. What's your favorite? What is my favorite? Yeah, that's a side question to the 20 questions. Ooh, what is my favorite? Violin or singing the guitar? Oh, it is, it's hard to say. I do love singing and playing music myself. Nice. So. All right. What did you listen to when you were growing up? My mother would play a lot of Carly Simon. So... I listened to a lot of that when nice. I was a really little kid, and I'd walk around thinking it's the stuff that dreams tomato, because <laughs> I didn't know what the real words were. But when I actually could choose my own music, I listened to Alanis Morissette, Jewel, The Cranberries, Tori Amos. What genre would you consider your music? That's a really tough one, uh, because I have some that are me just singing with a singing bowl. What do you what what do you call that? You or, singing with a singing bowl. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like new age, but there's that and then there's more rock pop songs. A little bit more folk ones and more just the singer songwriter genre. How long have you been performing? I've been performing violin since I was seven, and I've been performing my own song since I was 15. And when did you start writing your new album? Well, I started compiling it from songs that I had previously written, probably in the last two years, even three years ago, when I started the whole process of it. But the songs I have used a lot of songs that were back when I was 15, 16, 17 years old through ones that I had written when I was recording the album. So it was a, uh, actually like a 13 year long process. <laughs> um, where did you record the album? North Fire Recording Studio in Amherst. Nice. What would you say the concept slash theme slash message of the album is? Well, it's a good question because it is a concept album. Um, the idea of resolution being a to have things come clear to you to have them the, the whole idea with it is a, a cycle and love lost found and renewed and such like that with a lot of nature cycle themes going on as well themes of water a whole lot of stuff kind of thrown in there and it's partially auto biographical and then partially not so partially concept um what's your favorite song in the album depends on the day and it depends on which one i've been listening to lately and then i'll rediscover that there's another song that i kind of liked on the album and listen to that so it, it depends on the, the mood who is your dream musician to collaborate with tori amos <laughs> I love this. <laughs> a good choice. And what are your goals as an artist? My goals as an artist to go as far as I can with being a songwriter. All right. What challenges have you faced as a woman in music? Well, it feels a little harder maybe to get gigs or to, to get a band together. To There's always also my personal reservations with going out there and being on my own without people backing you up and supporting you musically. It's uh, you, go to, you go to open mics, you go to other venues, and it's really male-dominated. You feel, is my music, is it the right thing to have here? Or you go after a group of guys and... You really doubt yourself at points, but it's really important to just think, this is me, and no apologies. Nice. What advice would you give to young female musicians? <laughs> no apologies. <laughs> just, just do your thing, do your music, and don't let anybody else influence you in ways that you don't want them to. You need to take your influences in positive ways and not 
because you feel like you need to change. Sounds fair. Who would you say your favorite female singer-songwriters are? Tori Amos. <laughs> I'm bringing it back to Tori Amos. I, I just I just love her her sound. I wish I could play piano the way that she plays. Um, she's very in- inventive, and she also does concept albums. I, it's, I think it's awesome. What have you been listening to lately other than Tori Amos? I haven't been listening to her lately. Actually, the only thing I've been listening to is the radio lately um or my album because i'm getting ready for a cd release show so i'm making sure that i'm singing exactly like i did the album nice let's let's take it local for a second Mm -hmm. what's the best part about being a musician in the pioneer valley there's a lot of support a lot of good networking i'm actually part of a woman singer songwriter group we're called the woman songwriter collective and yeah, we, there's six of us, and it's a it's a lot of support. It's a lot of it's very helpful doing promotion, and the networking again, and just being there on stage with these lovely singers and having a great time. What's your favorite local venue? Oh, it depends. Um, I did a show at Mocha Maya's, and that was a, in Shelburne Falls, and had a really good time. I also had one on just a few days ago at Popcorn Noir and it's a funky cool little place to go. Have seen you there in the past. Yep. Yeah. Um, what do you do when you're not making music? Uh, not much. I'm, I live a very boring life. <laughs> <laughs> Usually it has to do with sitting on the couch and reading or tidying up my space because I uh, function the best with a uh, clean place where I can be creative. Other than being clean, what keeps you motivated? Lists. To-do lists. Um, schedules. I need to schedule myself or else I don't know what to do with my life. All right. So where can we find you online? Do you have a Facebook, a website? I do. I have both. I have. I love Facebook. I love it when people like me on Facebook. I also have my webpage, uh, carolynwalkermusic.com. I'm on Reverb Nation. Bandcamp, Twitter at Carolyn at Carolyn Resolute, um, and I'm sure you could find me other places too. <laughs> we'll track you down. YouTube. All right. Last question. Do you have any shows coming up? Where can we find you? I do. I happen to have my CD release show coming up on Sunday, June second, at seven o'clock at Salon Cafe in Hadley. So it's going to be a really good time. Nice. There's going to be a full band, and plus a violinist and a cellist. So it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. My friend Katie Sachs will be opening. And besides that, I have a ton of shows booked, and they're all on my website. Nice. Thank you for being here today. Thanks Thank for being you. on Girl Riot. Good time.